Hello lovely people, Kristin here from Miyoko. I hope you get some time today to maybe walk out into the sunshine. It's a beautiful February day here in England. Um, today I would like to take the opportunity and talk about the power and the paradox of choice. So I'm choosing this because I've had numerous conversations recently with people who are at crossroads, who maybe have to make decisions um, or choices that are big or small. Carolyn Miss has a really good TED talk on this, so I would certainly recommend to check her out. Uh, I'll put a link in the box underneath. And she particularly talks about the fact that our big choices are often not that fundamentally impacting our life than our small choices do. So big choices are things like buying a house, getting married, those sort of things. Whereas our small choices can be things that are related to what we think, feel or do sometimes and how that can have an impact on our environment, other people, certain situations. So I find that um, distinction really helpful because sometimes I come to a point where I'm like, okay, I have to make a choice here. And it's so easily said than done. And I then remind myself, you have the power of the choice. You can make that choice. Yes, but the paradox of all of this is that making choices is risky. And that means for some people taking that risk is, is scary, um, brings up fears, anxiety and stress because we cannot see what the impact might be. We cannot foresee the consequences, whether it's a big or a small choice that we have to make. So uncertainty is something that plays into that. So becoming comfortable with taking that risk is really important. But that still for me didn't help me to understand how I can make the right choice. How do I know? So um, there is a verse in the Tao Te Ching um, on not knowing. And there's one sentence in particular that I'd like to share with you. To know that there are some things you cannot know is wisdom. And I do really rely on that, to trust in the fact that I cannot know everything. But there is one particular part in our body that is really important when we make choices. And yes, it might be our mind, but also our heart. So our heart is really where I can feel whether this choice that I make at that moment in time, and this is really important to also understand is that the choices we make are maybe have a long-term impact but they are made at a certain particular moment in time where in a certain constellation and so for me it's about the connecting to my heart allowing my heart to open up allowing my heart to embrace what is and listening to my heart you might ask, okay, hey, how are you doing that? I want to do that too. And yes, you absolutely can. And that is probably the power of the choice that we also have. Um, so yoga and meditation for me, or even coaching, speaking to other people, even if it's in a sort of more informal setting, are really some of those tools that I use. So I quickly would like to share with you a very easy way of opening your heart chakra and then connecting with it. So if you just sit in a comfortable position or you can lie on the floor as well and then take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and then gently close your eyes. Take another deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then the mantra that I use is the sound of the heart chakra, which is yum. So I take a deep breath in and then I sound out and feel the vibration of the word yum traveling through my body and really filling my heart space. Take a deep breath in. Yum.
repeat this as many times as it is comfortable for you but what you feel is that this gives you this yummy warm feeling in your chest and in your heart where you can really feel the impact of that sound traveling through and warming your heart space so that you can connect better with your heart that's the one way I'm doing it the second one is if I know that I have certain doubts about certain choices I step away and I take some time to let go to distance myself um, because even if you think well you can evaluate the positives and the negatives around choices yeah but that means that you are probably trying to find a compromise and nobody likes to wear a black shoe and a blue shoe when you go out so compromises are a different thing we can talk about that another time but yeah if there are any doubt take some time and leave it be for that moment in time so I hope that helps you on your journey of making choices and I hope to see you soon, maybe at one of my yoga sessions or mini retreats. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Miyoko.